Ian. Um, disappointing just, uh, ending of the fight, but a great performance, I would imagine. How are you feeling about your own performance and the, you know, how the outcome? I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys because in victory and defeat, I'm still the same person. I still want to come out here and give you guys what you deserve, the knowledge. I am humble in victory and defeat. I always have been. And I do not feel like I lost today. My hand might, have, might not have got raised, but I came out and I fought a giant. I came out and I fought the boogeyman, and I showed that he's fucking human. I went out there on three weeks' notice. I saved this event. I saved this card against the scariest man in the division. And I went out there and I stopped almost everything. There was at no point where he looked like he was going to finish the fight. I put him in two submissions. I took his back. I had fun. I showed that I can hang with the single best in the division. And I proved tonight on short notice that I can absolutely be a champion. And I can do it for five rounds and there's no holes in my game. There was nothing that man brought for me tonight. He won by opinion and that's okay. That is okay. I, I, am, I can live with that. And I'm very happy with my performance tonight. You should be. It was great. How do you feel the choke was and how close were you to getting that? Talk to me through that. Charlie's. I will ask to fall a conversation. Charles taught me that backstage. He taught me a trick backstage. It happened then. They were just scoop a man. Just scoop out no feeling as early. I wanted to finish that so bad. Charles taught me a little trick backstage. Why I'm blessed to travel the world and have friends like Charles and Damien to learn from and to evolve with. I went out there against the scariest man and I nearly, I nearly fucking finished him. That shows that I have a championship mentality. 25 minutes, I stood in there across from him and he didn't have anything more than I had. I stopped every single one of his takedowns that was clean. I made him fight tooth and nail for everything. That shows the level of talent I have and I, I deserve to be one of the best in the world and I deserve more respect from this now. Do you believe one day we see this fight again? I said it before the fight. I said it to you guys before. I believe that he is better than everybody else, and I believe that I am better than everybody else, and we are going to see each other multiple times in our career. I, don't know, I do not believe that we are going to see each other one more time. I think it might be twice. I think he's that good, and I know I'm that good. Hey, Dana. Um, What's up, buddy? First of all, what was your take on uh, Pantoja's call-out? Like, it seemed a little strange call-out of Demetrius Johnson after... Oh, is that what I didn't hear it. Yeah. He said that I'm the GOAT, and if you want to prove you're still the GOAT, uh, come fight me. Is that something you would entertain even? I don't know. That's interesting. Listen, we, we, uh, you know how I, I was the one beating the drum about Demetrius Johnson a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. What was your take on, on his perform uh, Pantoja's performance? It looked tonight? incredible. Did you feel like, you know, he went out there right off the bat and pressured Azakura, a guy that has a reputation as a knockout fighter, to try to take that aspect away from him? Well, there's two sides to this story. You, you take a guy like Azakura who came in, you know, in the UFC your first time. We talk about the jitters, the, you know, all the things that, that happen. First time fighting in a cage, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, and he came in guns a blazing, flying knee, like right, right out the gate. Um, and then Pantoja, you know, how he put the pressure back on him. It was, it was, who in this room didn't want to see three more rounds of that? You know what I mean? It, it, it would have been amazing. Um, it was a great fight. And Pantoja so went Pan out and, and, and dominated. Yeah, and Pantoja is now beating Brandon Ruval, Brandon Moreno, uh, and now this guy. Um, so certainly he has a, a starting to build that kind of resume up. Where now all of a sudden you got to talk about him as one of the greats in the in the game. Uh, you get to three title defenses in the UFC. That's pretty significant, is it not? I agree. Where do you think he ranks in terms of the? Uh, you know, the great flyweight champion you've had. Moreno had a great run. Davison was great. Obviously, we know about DJ. Where do you think uh, Alessandre rates right now? Well, I mean, to say, uh, I, I mean, right here off the top of my head, I don't know. He's awesome. He's, he looked incredible tonight, and, you know, I, I, I don't know. What was your take on, you know, I thought Ian Machado Gary was great in terms of his takedown defense and the way he fought, short notice fight. What was your take on that fight and, uh, and were you impressed by Shavkat? Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those fights. I'll give you an example too, like um, Land Weir versus Choi. On paper, they go in the middle of the octagon and just start slugging it out and, you know, sometimes they don't play out the way you think. 15-0 versus 18-0. 
what that means, you have two really great fighters with a lot at stake. There's a title on the line. And, um, uh, you know, th you saw a lot of great things from both guys during that fight. It wasn't a knockdown, drag them out war. But I will tell you this, thank God it was five rounds. You know, five rounds uh, was the way to do that fight. Was Ian Machado Gary more difficult than you remember from your sparring days? Поздравляю с победой. Он был сложнее, чем ты помнишь его из тренировок. Я я Арине, Ян Гарри, вот и куп чему сасапта, махта карсал, а махта карсал курсетте. Вот и джингельский, джингель курмеген джонгер, меньше бар, джакс снах болду, джингельский жеткин бе, вот и хонстам. Yeah, for sure. He did a lot of work. He improved a lot. It was a great opposition from him and. He's uh, someone who didn't lose for a reason, and it was a great experience for me. He had uh, the choke on you in, in that round. How close was it at any point, and were you surprised that he was able to get you into that position? Он держал себя выдушающим какое-то время. Насколько это было сильно, и как получилось так, что он тебя смог перевести в эту позицию? Бермим кшкине гайсизову момент поколд, возьмем да и снижем кшинайцам канды калач спалан брак блин айдир. To be honest, I don't remember, you know, how this situation happened, but it was an yeah, uncomfortable position. What, were you surprised by his takedown defense? You know, you really fought hard many times early in the fight to put him on the ground, and it took a lot of effort for, uh, from you. Did his takedown defense get better since you last worked with him? Удивило ли тебя, как хорошо он защищался от твоих тейкдаунов? Тебе достаточно долго заняло все-таки его перевести. Насколько тебя удивило, как хорошо он защищался? Я, я, Арина, Керемет, Керемет, защита была, он, он, он жахтан, ну, не дисим было, он тогда индал, куши до жюри на дам, и мы сказали, кем-то тронул, кем-то засеп, кем-то озим техника ларна, а тачи ты дети на дам. It was great takedown defense, the all great defense overall, you know, he's not some guy from the street, you know, he's working every day in a gym, getting better, you know, so it was good, uh, good from him. Obviously, you respect him a lot for his ability, but does it hurt? Is there any twinge of regret you weren't able to keep the uh, finish streak alive? Понятно дело, что ты уважаешь его за его навыки, но насколько ты расстроен тем, что не получилось продолжить вот эту серию из того, что ты заканчиваешь всех у тебя все пять раундов пробился с ним? Я я арене блюдом колно кием берн седем. Бул жек бежек лонга емес, жегенс кезет кенім үшін, Қазақстан қуантқаным үшін қуаныштамын. Бұл да бір өте ауыр жек бежек болды. Әрине, мерзімден алын аяқтылға, кімнің аяқтағасы кемет жек бежекті. Менде де сондай ой болып, бірақ қарсыласым жақсы қарсыл көрсетті, жақсы дайындалып кеген екен, бүйірсі келесі, келесі жек бежекім, дасыр үшін жегім де болем. Yeah, you know, uh, who doesn't want to finish fights, you know? I was did everything in my power to do so. Uh, but Yen had a great preparation, but I believe next fight, I'll continue my finishing streak. It's on the win, first of all. Three title defenses. Do you think that that puts you in a different category now once you make three title defenses in the UFC? Like a goat? Yeah, that's what I try to do right now, you know? Uh, I feel I'm, I'm tied with uh, more victories in that division, you know? And then I figured out maybe that's why I talk about Demetri Johnson. And I, I'm sorry if I, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong to say about that, you know, all my respect for him. But after, the, and I'm sorry again, but I did that. I cleaned the division, you know. I, 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 I beat the number one, the number two, multiple times. UFC bring me another guy, another champ for all across the world. And I finish him. That fight makes sense. That, that's what the fight makes sense for me, you know. The, uh, and that the fly weight's so different right now. In the times when Demetri Johnson fights, it's not like that, you know. My last four fights, I fight with a Mexican, Australia, American, and Japanese. Everything's changed, you know. You have all the good fighters all across the world. And uh, times like now, it's so hard. You keep this belt. And right now, right. in times like that, I don't know, you, uh, maybe just me and Makashev have three title defense right now. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if anybody is. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's tough times right now, you know. It's not like, that, like, like before, you know. But all my respect to Demetri Johnson's, uh, 
I respect him. I love him because he opened all the doors for us. Right. Uh, but that fight is what I want. If you if you call me, say to me, what do you need? What do you want for Christmas? I want that fight. So just to, all due respect to that call, I, you know, he's an older fighter. He's not. I'm you know, older too. And I and and I I you know I thought Demetrius was the greatest of, uh, at me one too. point, me right? Me too. So I'm not. I don't ask this question in demeaning him, but he's older now and he's been retired and he hasn't been at the top like he was at one point. So what would you get if you fought him and beat him? Do you think you would gain anything from that? No, I, I think nothing changed his legacy. You know, I just to prove myself uh, who's the best fighter of the world. That's why I'm fight. That's why I'm fight tonight. Uh, and uh, that's so special for me because I'm fight for UFC. Uh, you know. I, in UFC, make me make the main event in Las Vegas for the last pay per view all the year to prove all the world I'm the best fighter in the flyweight division. You know, maybe I, I'm climb more for the pound for pound. That's what I want. That's very important for me. You're not ahead of John Jones, though. <laughs> me, guys, you put the EI for make that. Maybe people go crazy after that. You know, EI, yeah. AI, sorry, AI, yeah. And, uh, but, you know, uh, that's what I want, you know. I want to fight with the best fights of the world, you know. Like I say, I fight with um, Australia, Mexican, Japanese, American. Uh, and I prove myself. I prove I'm the best of the best, you know. That's what I want. That's why I am keep fighting. And that's why I want to fight with Demetri Johnson, you know. Uh, I give him six months if he need, you know, to back or eight months. I don't know, but he can skip the line and fight right now for the belt, you know. But I don't know. I don't know if he's ready for me.